My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, what is healthy dependence and what is unhealthy dependence? Well, when I was working as a researcher, I mentored and advised some university students working on their final year projects. And you may think that the better students are those with the better grades, better grade point average. However, when it comes to project and research work, I think the better students are those who can work independently. It is not that they cannot come to me, their mentor, to ask for advice. They know that they can come to me anytime for help. But good students also know their role and purpose. They are research students working on their project. It is their project that they are working on and not the advisors, not my project. So in other words, the student is free to embark on his or her work, project, research topic, but knowing confidently that the advisor is always there to guide and help him or her along. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus went to Simon's house and found Simon's mother-in-law unwell and suffering fever. He rebuked the fever and Simon's mother-in-law became well instantly. She got up and immediately served her house guests. While Simon's mother-in-law relied on Jesus to cure her, after she recovered, she got on with life. My dear friends, our dependence on the Lord, our reliance on God is liberating because it is supposed to offer us hope and courage to live our lives well and to the fullest. We are all dependent on God. The Lord is always by us. But the pertinent question to us is how do we consider our relationship with Him? Is our relationship with the Lord, is our dependence on Him empowering and does it give us hope? Does that relationship offer us true security? Just like Simon's mother-in-law, the Lord's grace is supposed to empower and strengthen so that we can continue to live our lives with renewed purpose. Or does our supposed relationship with the Lord make us more clingy and needy, like those people in today's gospel who wanted to keep Jesus from leaving? Does our supposed relationship with the Lord make us insecure? Does it prevent us from living in hope and courage and living our discipleship to the fullest? And if this is the case, then I wonder if we are even in a true relationship with God. Our lips may say one thing, we may be saying that we have faith in the Lord, but we are behaving that we do not trust in God. We behave like people who suffer from scruples, who keep going for confessions for the same sins over and over again. And my dear friends, we are all dependent on the Lord. But always remember that being in an authentic relationship with God brings true security and it allows us to live freely and with great hope.